That's right, the time has come. Hi all and welcome back to High Speed Touring. Right, today, finally, we're going to get the carbon fibre parts on from Ilmberger. Uh, we've already done the front hugger, but we've got the rest of the bike to do now. I've got all the pieces. So it's been a long process, but we've finally got the bits and we are ready to go. So let's crack on. Okay, let's start with the smaller of the two packages and see what we got. Really looking forward to this. It's been quite a long time. Ooh, that crisp has come early, isn't it? comes in its own little bag. Ah, yes. Now, the fins of mine haven't actually broken yet, but I know they're one of the most uh, breakable bits on the S1000RR. So um, I'm gonna replace mine with these carbon fiber ones. So hopefully they look a bit better as well. On to box number two. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to move the camera. Here we go. Here we go then. Oh, and lots of bags. That's good news. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to look better. That's for the side of the tank. And all we're going to do is replace the little bit that goes in there off the uh, off the side of the RR. We'll take it off and replace it there so you get some colours in it. Yeah, that's going to look awesome. And I think this is going to be the other side. It looks identical. Yeah, that's the other side. Oh, look at that. For those of you who don't know, uh, I've just actually started a, uh, a new company. After having the S1000RR coated in a uh, ceramic coat, I was so impressed I uh, contacted the company and see if we could get a day where we could fit everything. Unfortunately they're so busy at the moment they couldn't send anyone down. Uh, the other option was to get me trained up and set up my own company, take on the franchise which I've all done. It's been quite hard work over the last few weeks but we've got there in the end and I'm all ready to go. If you have a look at www.supershieldauto.co.uk uh, that's my new website and you'll find on there I'm actually taking the Supreme Coat products uh, life proof products from there which give you a 10 year guarantee on new vehicles seven years on a used vehicle it makes the uh, paint surface super hydrophobic so the water just runs off nothing sticks to it and uh, it's really easy to clean not only that it's uh, scratch resistant to 9h and that's tested by boeing and you can on their website at supremecoat.com you can get all of the uh, product sheets and they will show you all the testing that boeing have done on the product also UV protectant and it will uh, really bring out the uh, depth of colour in any uh, of the paintwork or the carbon fibre. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a bit on here. Right, as you can see it's already quite shiny. I've given it a quick degrease so hopefully we're back to uh, the uh, top coat and nothing else on top. All we're going to do, I'm going to apply some of this coat and uh, we're going to see if it makes any difference. So you can see it, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I can just about see it going on. You can see it's got wet. The next step is just to give it a quick buff. So I think you can just about make out this line on the camera. You can see there's a straight line all the way down the carbon fiber there. So we've treated this section, but this section isn't treated. And you can see it just brings out a deeper, much um, glossier shine to the carbon fiber gives it much more depth of colour. It also protects it, obviously UV protective, scratch protectant, and it'll make it a lot easier to keep clean, just wipe it down and it's clean. Nothing's gonna stick to it. Okay, so the first part we need to take off is this bit under here goes all the way around here. This is the section that we need to take out and fit to our new bit of carbon fibre. As you can see, it goes right down under here, under the seat. So we're going to need to remove the seat, the plastic off of this bit, all of this and the tank cover to get to it, both sides. So we're going to start by taking the top cover off. Uh, as per usual, we're going to remove all the bolts and their uh, T25s. So uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've taken these four out that you can see on the top. I've just laid them out on there for a second so I know which bolt is which. The last one is this one down here. 
which is a bit longer, needs to come out, and then this top cover will come off. Here's one. Not want to come out. There we go. We got it. As you can see underneath, there's small little clips, one at each side, and these two just slide out of the front ones. There's also some sticky back Velcro holding it on. On the M Sport, there's uh, one bolt, and it's tucked just down here. So sort of pull the seat forward a bit with your finger, and then stick your screwdriver in. Okay, once the bolt's loose, you can just pull the seat out, and uh, that's what you're left with. Okay, so once you've removed the seat, you actually just need to take the the two screws, one here, one here, that hold this on. These two aren't holding the side panel, and they're holding the tray down. Okay, once all the bolts are out, we're going to just pop this off the top here. There's a little catch here which you need to slide forward and the whole thing should slide forward. Do a couple of clips at a time and it should just pop off. As you can see on the back there at the end there's a tiny couple of holes at the back here where it's holding. There's a clip here with a little tooth underneath where that goes through that hole in the, under there. You've taken the screw off that one. There's a slide there and another one just here on this tab on the tank. It sits behind this little hook on the back. So just be really careful, undo the screws, put it towards the front of the bike first, it will stretch it slightly, it will pop off and then you'll get the last two out. Okay, so on the uh, side panel fairings, they've got these sections here which we're going to need to take out and put onto the new section. They're just held in by little clips on the inside, so they should just pop out. So if you push from this side, just try and ease the clips out if you can. They should just pop out, he says. I won't lie to you, these are a pain in the ass. So um, it's easier just to get the screwdriver, put your fingers on the apply some pressure to these tabs and then just pop the screwdriver in and, and work the tab. There's a little catch under there, you can see. Get the screwdriver in inside there, pull the little lever back and, and just keep applying pressure to the outside unit. Eventually it just pops out. Now we need to remove these metal tabs and put them into the carbon fibre piece that we're replacing this plastic bit with. As you can see, they're pushed through from the back. So once you've removed the plastic, you squeeze them together with a pair of pliers, they should pop through the front side. Obviously they won't do it while the plastic's in there. So just a bit of pressure, squeeze it together, and you can take these little plastic clips out and put them into your carbon fibre piece, ready for this insert to go in. Okay, so once you've removed all these little clips from the back, the only one left to do is at the front of these pieces, there's a clip here, so don't forget also to push this clip out and fit it to your carbon fibre piece. So just squeeze it together and push it in, and then let go and it will sit there, ready to uh, take the housing when it goes over the top. The others, much the same way, each one of these clips needs to go through the hole, you put it in place, push it down, it will click into place, and it's ready to receive the plate. There we go, and once they're all in, they're now ready to receive the piece of fairing we took off earlier. See it? And once it's in, it will look like that. You still keep a bit of the colour, but you've got a carbon fibre all around it, so it looks really smart. Okay, so now we're going to offer up the carbon fibre part to the side of the tank. We're going to get it almost in place. There's a, uh, a tag here, and we've got to put a uh, little tag behind here, so we need to slide it from front to back. We line that up, make sure they're both in line. So this will be just forward of where it needs to be. We'll just slide it back. And there we go, it's held on now. And then the tail section, there's a little clip at the back. Just push it in, it should click. There we go, that's in. And that, that screw hole is absolutely fine. This lines up nicely and this screw hole is absolutely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this screw back in. As you can see, the screws, as per usual, are completely dry. So what we're gonna do first, just put a bit of copper grease around it, just in case any crap gets in there. I want to be able to get the screw in and out nice and easily. Okay, so that's that side installed. Looks 10 times better already. Look at that. It's really nice. And this bit, just finish it off. You've got the little carbon fibre fins down here. Looks awesome. Love it. Right, we've just got to do the other side. And then we can crack on with the uh, other bits. So the, the next problem is that one of the bolts is actually right behind the exhaust. So we're going to have to remove the exhaust, take the end can off, just to get to the bolt which is down here. Okay, so you need a number 13 spanner, put it on the bolt here, and it will loosen off nicely. And you can undo the exhaust clamp, and then you'll be able to, once you've removed both bolts, you'll be able to remove the exhaust end can off, and we can get to the bolt. 
you don't need to remove the bolt completely just make sure it's hat finger loose if that collar's loose that means the exhaust is going to be able to slip off give it a tug wobble it a little bit and it will slide off there we are and the end can should come off like that the other bolt that we're looking for is just here again it's plastic bolt it's uh, really lightweight and it's really easy just to burr it over okay once you've removed the screws from here it's, you actually need to just slide these little plugs out that hold the screws in and we're going to use these uh, on the new piece so that comes away and as you can see behind there's just a little hole on the spring arm okay on the other side of the bike there's one here by the rear sprocket on the swing arm and we're going to need to remove that bolt and there's another one if you can just see it right above the chain just here above the footrest and where the chain is there's an actual proper bolt in there holding this on so we need to remove those two to get it off so I'm just going to pop that out I'm going to take this plastic lug out as well now that's nice and loose one more to go okay we've just got to get this one out and we're done there we are so it's a T25 this one Okay, once you've taken the uh, the one off the swing arm, it's the sprocket, and this one in here, there's one last, I don't know if you can see it, I'll try and get the camera in there, just down here, hiding, just there is another tab that we need to remove in order to take it off. Okay, in order to get to that bolt, what we're going to do is just detach the um, chain guard from the rear mug guard, there's a little clip, you need to put your hand inside the mug guard, squeeze the clip, and then it should just come out and you can remove the chain guard as one piece and that gives you access to this little bolt here okay once you've removed that bolt it's not actually a bolt it's a twisted pin so just unscrew it a little bit get something underneath it and pop it out hopefully that should just come away there we go and now we've exposed some of the swing arm give it a bit of a clean up before I put the new carbon fibre one on Okay, once we've taken that off we're going to offer up the new one and actually the little bolt in here um, needs to go back in before you put this on because this hasn't got the same hole just down here for that little uh, bolt to go in so we're going to replace get in there. we're going to replace this little bolt first and then we're going to put this back on again okay so first of all we're going to replace the little plug that came out that goes back in there and then we're going to replace a little bolt straight back in the hole and it literally just pushes down and that's it it's in so now we're going to put the carbon fiber tailpiece on and here we go put the exhaust back in place we're just going to uh, tighten up the bolts just fill that in nice and tight it's in line so I'm going to tighten it up for there and underneath don't forget we need to tighten up the jubilee clamp okay so the next piece we're going to fit is this little uh, shark gill here um as you can see it's really flimsy plastic and uh, we need to try and get it off here unbolt it so to do that we need to remove the fairings to get to the two bolts there we go okay next on the list under in this little bolt here that should release this edge we might be able to pop it away and get to this without having to remove the whole panel but we'll see how it goes right once you've removed this one you'll see underneath covered up by this bit of plastic there's another bolt just underneath which will release this front edge we should be able to remove this front edge two just keep working it along three so as you can see once you've taken a few of the poppers out there's a bolt just under here and that's the one we need to remove these shark girls. There's also another one right on the front of the engine bay. Okay, so I've managed to get a screwdriver in here. I've just loosened off the fairing. Managed to get a little screwdriver in there and do the front one. I've undone the back one and then it just slides off of the little bolt here. As you can see on here, it's, it's very thin plastic here. And here and they tend to it just snaps through there if you give it any pressure at all it's going to snap that bit of frame 
as you can see on the back of here the carbon fiber one does also have the little hook so we're going to slide that on there first that's about right there so slide it on and as you can see once you once you um, put the slide on there it tends to be held in the right position anyway so I'm going to go ahead now and just uh, hold it in with the two bolts and uh, yeah it's going to look a lot nicer I think I've taken most of this piece of fair enough I've just left it attached to the front all I'm going to do is put my hand under here try and get that in the right place and then tighten it up okay and there we go one fitted shark fin on this side it looks a lot better than the original really just uh, sets it out with that little bit of carbon fibre got the theme running throughout now so I've got the front mud guard the uh, fins there the side panels and the rear mud guard and uh, chain guard as well looks really good really impressed well that's about it folks thanks very much for watching and um, we fit all the carbon bits on the bike they look absolutely amazing from Ilmberger carbon fiber parts and um, I was supposed to go to their factory actually to meet them unfortunately due to coronavirus just couldn't get down there everything was cancelled hopefully we'll get down there again in the future and I'll uh, take the video camera and we'll have a little look round. anyway Everything's on the bike, it looks absolutely amazing. The parts fitted absolutely perfectly. They come in their own little bags, really, really good quality. Can't recommend them highly enough. Um, thanks for the guys for sending them all out to me and uh, with a little bit of discount I had on there. Hopefully, uh, the more likes I get and the more subscribers, maybe we can pass some discounts on, that'd be awesome. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out, as I say, hopefully we can uh, start to get some uh, benefit from it and pass on some of the savings to you guys as well. If you like the ceramic coating products um, from Supreme Coat, uh, head over to www.supershieldauto.co.uk and uh, there's more information on that website about the ceramic coatings. They are absolutely awesome and definitely worth doing. If you've got a new bike, new car, even a second-hand one, I, the bikes I've done on there, have a look at the photos, they come up looking brand new. So really worthwhile. Um, get in contact and we'll sort you out a good deal. If you've got any questions, please get in contact with me or I'll stick some uh, questions in the comments below and uh, be happy to answer them. And now the carbon fibre parts are all fitted. Um, I'm actually off to the Nürburgring. It's open and we're going. So I can't wait to get this. It's going to be the first time the bike's been out on track. So uh, hopefully I'll get the camera on the track and we'll uh, get some good footage. Keep watching. Stay safe. See you around. Bye.